Brothers. Welcome back to another video. I hope all y'all had a good Christmas yesterday. Um, but in this video, I just want to talk to you guys about two things. If, le if left unchecked, you can be practicing sperm retention and no fat for no reason. All right. If you overeat bad and wrong food combinations, if you worry about survival, all right. If you always concerned about survival in any kind of way, all right, you worried about how you're going to pay your bills, how you're going to put food on the table, how you're going to get a roof over your head to all of you young guys that watch me and you still stay with your mom. You sick and tired of it. She fussing at you all the time. She loves you. She just wants, she's ready for you to get out there and get out the nest, start flapping your own fucking wings and shit. A lot of you guys worried about outside threats. All right. For some reason, you fear people. You feel like you got to survive against people. You know, you see people, certain people as a threat, right? These two things, if left unchecked, can just destroy your sperm retention and no fat benefits, all right? The practice of sperm retention and no fat alone will not save you. I said this shit before in a couple of videos back, all right? If you just practice sperm retention and you think a whole bunch of magical shit is going to happen in your life. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It will not happen. All right. There's a lot of other things that you have to do in order to level up your consciousness. Sperm retention and no fat is all about you leveling up your consciousness. But if you allow these two things to be left unchecked, overeating and worrying about base shit like necessities and living and shit like that, it can stop you from reaching your heart chakra. All right. I really don't talk much about the chakras here on this channel as I should. A lot of people, when they hear the word chakra, they be like, oh, that's some spiritual mumble jumbo. Well, chakras are real. All right. The word chakra is uh, it means wheels, wheel of energy. All right. We all have wheels of energy in our bodies. All right. A chakra bracelet. I have one on my wrist right here. It's just a physical representation to help you visualize what's happening inside of your body, all right? You have the root chakra, you have the sacral chakra, the solar plexus, the heart chakra, the throat chakra, the third eye, and the crown, all right? Your root chakra is located at the base of the spine where most of your energy is. Root chakra, earth chakra, base, base desires, right? Survival, Okay, sacral chakra, chakra. That's the next one. That's dealing with sex and desire and pleasure, right? And then you have the solar plexus chakra, energy center, wheel of energy, dealing with digestion. When you overeat, bro, bad and wrong food combinations, you overwork the organs of digestion, keeping yourself at a low frequency, at a low level of consciousness. All right. When you oversex, when you beat your fucking dick, all right. Overly active sex life, porn addiction, whatever it be. If you ejaculate at a high frequency because you are addicted to the ejaculation, that will keep you vibrating very fucking low. Your personal magnetism will be very low. All right. If you worry about survival, how you going to pay your bills or you worried about some type of threat, guys, let me tell you something right quick, man. We ain't running from goddamn dinosaurs. We ain't running from lions, tigers and bears. This is not survival place. All right. This is creation place. And if you're watching this shit right now and you want to create the life that you want, you got to get out of the bottom chakras. All right. The bottom chakras aren't bad. All right. It's very necessary. It's what keeps your body alive. It keeps you safe. Right. But when you stay there in consciousness, you won't be able to create much. You, you'll be just like the low level animals, horse, dog, cat, pig, rat. We're more than that. All right. Our brains are different. We are capable. We are designed to level up in consciousness. Why? Our brains are different. We have a larger frontal lobe. All right. The only difference between your brain and a fucking elephant brain is your frontal lobe is bigger so you can manipulate energy. All right. We are master manipulators, master manifestors. We have that gift. All right. It's time for you guys to realize that. But the only way that you can use your gift is to come out of the lower self, okay? So you can increase your magnetism. When you allow that energy, that Kundalini energy to rise up out of the root chakra, out of the uh, sacral, out of the solar plexus, up into the heart, bro, what you do is you expand your, your, your awareness, you level up your consciousness, right? 
You expand your awareness and you expe expand your aura, your Taurus field. If you don't know what a Taurus field is, here's a great picture of a Taurus field. We all have two Taurus fields, a small one and a bigger one. All right. When you allow that kind of lunar energy to rise up and you allow enough energy to hit the heart center, you expand and you increase your personal magnetism. That's why the female attraction aspect of sperm retention and no fat works because you allow an energy to come up. But if you overeat, all right, if you worried about survival, you will not reap the, the, the spiritual energetic benefits of sperm retention and no fat. All right. I'm one that knows. I know all about emotional eating. I know all about trying to cope with my fucking problems in the past by eating and jerking off and having sex. All right. Sperm retention is about you leveling up your consciousness. But if you have an eating disorder, if you worried and fearful about survival all the time, I'm telling you, you will be defeating the purpose and you will be practicing sperm retention and no fat. All you'll be doing is exercising your discipline. But you won't really be doing anything. You'll be spinning your fucking wheels, doing a burnout in life. It's time for us to go somewhere. Level up your consciousness. Level up your vibration by controlling your appetites. What you eat, how you eat. I ain't going to tell you what to eat. You know what I'm saying? That's up to you to figure out, right? Me personally, I try to eat as clean as I can, as I, as I can afford, right? So control my appetite. I control my sexual appetite and I don't, I try my best not to worry about survival. All right. I'm not, I'm not somewhere trying to run away from fucking threats and shit. All right. There's no need to be constantly activating that fight or flight response in your body because it keeps you vibrating low. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. Two things again, left unchecked, overeating and worrying about survival. Free yourself from concern, guys. There's nothing to worry about. All right. Believe in yourself, know what you want, write down your goals as if you already have them, all right? But that's all I got for this video to all of you guys that's been asking about my um, skincare routine and my hair and my beard. Uh, my beard grows crazy fast. It grows all in my mouth because of the nutrients that I take in, right? Essential nutrients that I take in. I highly recommend this product right here by Goalie Nutrition. This is Goalie Superfruits. This stuff helps with collagen formation. It helps with your immunity. It helps with a whole lot of things, all right? So if you want to improve your appearance and your skin structure and all of that great stuff, link down in the description. Use code CB20, all right? That's all I got for this video. Hope you guys be good. Keep shit player and stay out for it.